Hi, good morning. Hi, hello there. Uh, welcome to uh, my channel. This is my um, third vlog for uh, today. Oh. Ano pa to? Okay. Mga pusa, okay. Naku, huwag kayong magulo dyan. Shelbert. No! Shelbert, don't kill. Don't kill them. Kawawa naman. Hey, bitch! Alis na kayo dyan. Alis na, alis na. Anyway. Magulo ka. We'll we'll start a review of uh, the Bolo coming from Bicol. Hi, good morning everyone. This is Alan. This is your uh, Carpentito. And uh, as you can see, there's a carnivorous cat being harassed by our dog. Okay, sige. So, what we're going to do ngayon is to uh, review, hindi mo review, unbox or whatever. Um, the bolo, the, the tobacco made or bicol made bolo na has been proven uh, effective and uh, has a proven design and has been used for uh, a lot of years already. So I got myself um, a couple of them and I'm going to show it to you. Okay, hey, are you okay? So, you know, it helps me, it helps us uh, eradicate a few uh, rodents. If uh, I haven't seen rodents for a while, actually, thanks to these cats right here. Wait, shall I continue? Papi! All right, so as you can see, um, we have a two uh, bolos of similar, quite similar, um, design uh, but will but has uh, subtle differences you will be amazed of the uh, differences that they, they have in their design but they actually came from the, the same um, source from the same uh, town which is uh, Tabaco Albay so the first one I actually got here as you can see Metro I replaced it because the plastic it was already torn up and the, uh, I um, replaced it already but as you can see the the craftsmanship is very very obvious now and it has a uh, very intricate design as you can see it's like flowers or leaves and uh, it has the uh, three chevrons right here and similar with this, it has also three chevrons and uh, well, these are bite marks. As you can see, and uh, we'll, we'll check out the, the blade later on. Uh, so let's do that right now. Okay. It's quite dangerous. So let me So basically, there you go. So it has seen better days, and uh, what do you call this, Nicola man? So it has a um, very, very uh, uh, not so unique but functional design. No? And I guess this one right here is the Maker's Mark. Correct me if I'm wrong. So there you go. So it's basically more than a foot long and it's perfect for chopping um, wood for uh, basically using it around um, 
around the wooded area or, or maybe probably um, you know cutting some trees um, or banana um, trees depend upon you know I've, I've, I've done these things so there you go all right so um, let me tell you more about our new um, addition to my what we call collection so I'm not gonna be using this because I already have one um, probably will use this for uh, in the future depend so as you can see it's very similar uh, the design is a bit there's been some changes so obviously this is an, an older one and this is a hello um, a new one you know was bought before the quarantine and wala siyang ano wala siyang guard no? but basically it has the same functionality no? it has the same function and design so it it has a couple of chevrons here but notice wala siya dito no? and this was uh, these are made of Lanka wood I, I'm guessing I'm not really sure right so let's see okay so in terms of the uh, of the design of, of the make I think they they have uh, they have a different curvature if you like you know? and and again this is the uh, probably the mark of the maker so it can be um, it's possible that the maker is, uh, is coming from different family uh, in tobacco so I think they have uh, um, passed it down the, the skills among their families uh, not so many families are actually making this bolo but I'm not really sure about that so it's kind of different no? but it has it's like if you like it has the same DNA right. so I hope that I'll uh, have to review more on, on this because you know the these bottles are quite intricate in my opinion and uh, it's possible that this will last for a long, long time. Maybe um, you're asking why you review a bolo? No, I mean, why is such a trivial thing to, to talk about? Um, well, basically, my my father was from Sorsogon and uh, came from a rural area. Uh, lived um, in a um, very very remote area so um in that community part of the you know that part of Bicol it's very common for um, the bread of the family to work on um, in the forest and so they have uh, this uh, bolo that they use and um, when they transition to the urban uh, life like he did back in the day when we were born um, hindi na wala yon. you know it wasn't lost and I think right now I owe it to him or to the uh, people that um, you know use the tradition for me to continue uh, the tradition at least by looking back you'll be able to appreciate what um, people um, use before uh, that we usually take for granted now. That's it.